trying to share my life. My bad. I've been all good, but the minute I start streaming, my nose like, hey, reminder, you still recovering? Nope, we're playing. I don't care. Low again, it's just a nighttime move for it. Clever.
makes me really bad, bro. Like, I have vague memories of this game. Man, this is a classic. I got a lot of those as fuck. I'm not even mad, though. Okay, that's what I posted. You're actually playing the same level twice. I'm not mad at that. It's just. It's a treat. Why didn't you 
couldn't update the game before this. I'm like, here's why. I was just one too. I never even feel like I know I was still sick at the time. So, we just kind of go with the flow now. Shout, shout out to Flow and A. Shout out to Zertek. Because my alley just been killing me. I'm a lot better now. I'm at like 99%, but that last 1% is a motherfucker. So my doctor told me I can't work out again until I'm back to normal because when I try to work out, I made it worse and mess up my breathing. So I was like, alright, I'll wait till these allergies calm down. You know, fucking allergies. As y'all know, um, the content is still going to be playing from before at like 7 o'clock today. We're just doing content, bro. As many days as we can. We're not every day, but we're telling people we're doing it every day. But yet, we're not really every day. We're just doing what we can. I got a really good buzz. I got a really good buzz when I did that going that one. Like that one one, even though I got like I got like a thousand views on it. Oh, I popped the trunk on him. Hey, come on, we don't care as much. Just 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 lay down, man. Just lay down. Oh, not that yet. No 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 no. Outside of that, things been good. Um, I was able to finally get a Friday off. So I'm going to go see Game On at like February 20th. So that same Super Bowl weekend, I'm going to go see some people on Game On out of nowhere. Like, what's good, guys? See how everything is. You know how it goes. You know, I ain't the general anymore for me, so the Super Bowl which I appreciate. But you know, y'all holding it down it makes me happy. Which also gives me some retro ideas. I need to go to your house soon, Tinchi, and maybe record some content on your um on your stream. And then I just grab it and stuff like that. No, I got you. I mean I can't go unless I get Friday off because I work on Fridays. So like I don't even game for it on the weekends unless like it's like maybe one or two hours to play some whole watch just to BS around and make some content. Like right now I'm making content right now for my channel. My goal is to make a thousand subs in a year. Make like a really big impossible goal just to see what happens. Have fun with it. You know. The weight loss journey's been good. I'm at 270 now. Uh, even though I couldn't work out, I've still been pretty decent on my, my diet. I made a little change on my diet because um, even though I'm still eating fish like crazy, I, I was getting tired from growing tilapia. So I had just a little bit of extra carbs just so I could have like, a fish sandwich. So instead of me being 21 calories uh, a day, it's like 2,400 calories. But still, you know, when I, I'm still drinking my water, and um, when I do go back working out, it helps too. So we're steady losing one or two pounds every week. So I'm happy about that. I don't want to go too crazy, and I feel great. You know, health is wealth. My diabetes has gone down. I went to. Um, Oh yeah, rock concert, you can never go wrong with that. Um, i just been going to Captain Eastern myself just because of the convenience of it, my schedule. So uh, I've been losing like one to two pounds every week, which I'm happy about that. I don't want to go too crazy. So, me working 3 to 11, it's just, you know, I work every nine when I, when I was not sick, work out for two hours, got my food for the day. I, I, eat, I eat mostly that, green beans, and um, gluten-free popcorn. Saturdays are my cheat days, which today's my cheat day. Pretty myself pretty good some chicken and waffles, but my whole goal is I want to be as little carbs as possible, like a low carb diet, low fat, very low sugar, and um, pretty good protein. So 
I did the micros. It's like maybe 2,400 at the most, 2,700 a day uh, for calories. Uh, 180 grams of carbs. Um, I think it's 200 grams of protein, maybe less than that. 20 grams of fat and almost zero to no sugar. Like literally, maybe like 10 or 20 because of food. Like once I start cutting off carbs and sugar off my life, I lost so much weight, bro. It's like insane how much weight I lost because I cut off carbs down. So like, you know, just changing how I eat things and just really got some. Hold up, it popped the trunk on this man. Yeah, I just gotta figure out what I want to play. Uh, play. Maybe the uh, ignition game we play. I, I got some ideas. You know what I mean? I got some ideas. And uh, I'll go from there. I'll just grab it and then I'll cut it up, something like that. Like, you know, keep the content going. You know how that goes. We do what we can for the content. Play a set, you know what I mean? Play some games, you know, like Power Stone, whatever. Maybe we can do a Project Justice set. Like, I got ideas in my head. I got to send them out in my head. And I just do it. Honestly. We'll see. Like I said, I, I, I already have a lot I want to get done. Anyway. Having fun. Ever since I started working out, I've been wanting to do more stuff now. I've been, I can't say all oh, fire has been lit because I'll be lying, it's just, I'm just more active now. It's just a good feeling. I don't hate this level, just that because the lighting is so bad. It makes me get around that. I thought that looks good. Can't complain. Get myself ready to move in a few months and um, start my 15-year plan for my goals. You know, these 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 rent prices are ridiculous, though. Jesus Christ, man! You might as well say you're buying a house nowadays. But you know, enough of that. Let's talk about some retro games. I I want to talk about some retro games while I'm trying to go through this level. You know, I mean, we're gonna have a little good time. You know. What is one of your favorite retro memories that you will never forget? Like, if anyone was talking about retro games, you just remember it in the top of your head. Like, what is your favorite retro gaming memory? Send to you people, guys. We all rewatch this in the replay in the comments. Tell me what's your favorite retro replay. And if you watch this far, put it in the comments. Hashtag we're awesome on the comments. That way I know it's y'all. I'm not looking forward to statue because I remember I got lost in statue last time. It's kind of looking for me off. So the then the level's right there. One man, just give me one. Don't overthink it. It's all you're not seeing my face, it's just that 
because I'm still recovering from my allergies, that light gives me a headache. Saying who that too, who that had a, a crazy um, time for the game. Who did for you know what I mean? People come and go in the game. Like for me, it's hard for me to give myself my my my, my, my props when I have to be about one of these things. And sad, but at the same time, I have no like. Communication link to bunker. How do you break the communication link? Oh, one of my favorite memories of all time is when um, at that game store, when Lost Art Wheel Games brought their candy caps to us, we got to play Dark Strike on an actual candy cap. That was amazing. Um, another great retro, it's not, I mean, another great fighting game slash retro moment for me, um, making third place, and I think this is when, this is when I, I fully retired from fighting games in general, where I was like satisfied, you know that joke people say when the person say I'm satisfied and they lose the match, that actually happened to me, is when I fought Traystar in SoCal for 6 in North Carolina, and I uh, lost 3-2, to two, but the set was incredible that I just, I had no, um, like, how do you top that? I went out of state. Yeah, it was like six or seven minute tournament, but, you know, we did our thing, and, um, the guy who won the whole thing was one of He was also a two player. He smoked me. I lost to him, and I lost to Trickstar. Like I, I, I underestimated how much damage the grab reach is for Kelex Demon Mode. I thought I was outside the range, and I died. Also, I forgot, once you turn to that mode, it's almost like the Raging Demon. I need to find this out, like... Um, what's another one? It's another great memory. I mean, all the tournaments I ran... Remember, I ran getting game bonds off the tournaments. Flawlessly, I ran... Seven cities, Tekken tournaments, and they hit me up. I ran um, bikes tournaments last year. I'll probably help them out this year too, probably knowing me, because um, I'm, I'm real cool with most of the staff there. They, they, they gave me number low. Um, uh, helping run the old, you know, going to old you kind of run fight game tournaments, um, 
anime convention in, in Norfolk at the time, the waterside, that was interesting. I swear it felt like a club. I swear it did. The problem is I keep shooting these guys because it messes up my focus on trying to find places. So, um... I have so many memories, though. Yeah, but this was pretty big. Like, the way people were dressed, it was like a club. Like, just in anime style. Like, the way people were dressed, I'm like, good God, bro, you going to a club or anime convention? Um... That's another really good memory I have. Gooey's changed my life. I don't care anyone says. Joke, you know, you want. North Carolina's Gooey's changed my life until it got closed down, which hurting my soul in ways you will never understand. No three hours for Gooey's. All my mama, if they ever come back, we go right back, bro. All my mama. On everything I stand for. God, go, he's changed my life. Uh, what's another good memory I have? Retro gaming. Uh, old school was a good retro memory. Uh, I ain't gonna, you know, disrespect old school. For a reason, that was old school. It's always a, a good a reminder you come from retro games, how freaking hard retro games can be. I think that's the beginning of the level. Okay. Um. Oh, this be a really good one. God damn it. I'm so tired of y'all. I love you on a board dispensary just like you don't have to do this, guys. You know, I'm gonna actually do that, because they're really, they're, they're gonna keep coming after me, and I'm kinda tired of that. that satellite right there I need to find that satellite but um what's another good retro memory I have um the bike during the COVID season when I had a, a first to ten set in Soul Calibur 6 that was an epic set that was a great set actually we were both rusty in Soul Calibur 6 but we did one more set I barely won 10 to 9 over a misstep so that was a good memory um the clutch comeback I made against Zappa and the killer instinct by losing my five, that was epic. Uh, I matched the RG epic and killer instinct. Shout out to him. Um, uh, going back to Soul Calibur, not Soul Calibur, Street Fighter 5 and actually learning the game. Like, having the first time in my life a character that I liked but did not fit my style at all. That's a cool character. He was, he was the first character ever in my life where I was like, yo, I like the character, but he's way too good. That was a very good lesson for me to learn about myself. That's another really good retro memory I have. Um, that's another good one. Oh, going to, um, uh, Nova, give me making that comeback in Strive uh, when it first came out. And we went to that Samurai place to celebrate. That was a good memory. That was a very good memory, actually. That really, that really brought me back to the pure essence of fighting games. So that made me happy. It's so weird. Like, in freaking, um, Arms of Justice, I'm not, I don't have to hurt it. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't have a main skin in that game. There's no character I can't say, like, oh my god, I, I know you're scared. I'm just testing out characters, but I don't ever took a chance to practice the game. I'm just like, 
Okay, I'm just gave me the biggest win percentage. Alright, these guys Alright, I'll just use this. I think the closest was demon high up, but I was just taking advantage of his crossing medium kick. That's literally all I was using. I was using that for pussies. Um, of course, my first time playing Overwatch changed my life. We already know this. I feel like the sound was right here last time. It's not here anymore. Or just the beginning of the level, and I was just stupid, which is definitely possible. Um, yeah, that's probably the beginning of the level. Um, good memory I have. It's kind of hard to rewatch TGS videos because of the um, the events that happen after TGS. That kind of makes it kind of like depressing to watch it. Outside of those, there's still some good times. My audio's popping, really. Why am I still doing that? Because I'm too close to the thing, dude. Is it still popping now? I can't really call myself a good streamer because I'm just streaming on the Xbox. I just do this for fun, like, compared to, like, your level of streaming. See, you can get so easily lost in this game level. Yeah, exactly. That old school though, where they don't tell you where it is, you just gotta find it yourself. Oh god, that's good. That's a good, that's a good thing. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Touch that. That's a really good sign. Low-key, I'm kind of jealous that I can't play Forspoken. Because I don't got a good enough PC for that. And it's not on Xbox. Because I found out they had an RPG with a black main character. I'm like, I want to play it. I don't even care if the game's good. The fact that I have a black main character, I'm all for it.
Oh, I found it. That took me forever. That. Where was that door ever been locked?
at for this one. There's literally no camera here. But whenever you go here, all of a sudden it gets like everybody. Why is it like that? I don't... There we go. 